Welcome to Bot Sailor. Today in this video, we will show you how to create a message template for WhatsApp. But there might be a question, why do we need a message template to send a bot message to WhatsApp? To send a message to those, who never contacted you on WhatsApp or have sent a message before 24 hours, we must use a message template to communicate with them. It's a rule from WhatsApp. So, for any business-initiated message, we should use a message template. Let's see how to create a message template. From the dashboard of the bot sailor, go to the bot manager. Select the bot account for which you want to create the message template. Then, click on the message template. When we wish to send a message with dynamic data, that will be different for each user, we may utilize variables in the message template. For example, if we want to include a delivery date in the message for purchase, every user will not have the same date. So, the value of the delivery date variable, will vary depending on the user. Let's see how to create a variable, and use it on the message template. To create a variable, just click on the Create button under the Template Variables. Give a name for the variable. Save it. Let's create another one for the total price. Just give a refresh before we create a message template. Now, go to the Message Template settings, and click on the Create button. Give a name to the template. Select the locale. Then, select the template category. Here I am keeping it as transactional. Then select the header type. We can create a template without any header, or we can use any from the drop-down list. We can use text, image, video, and document as the header. We will get an option to upload the header data, while using this template. For instance, if we use image, we will get the option to upload an image when using this template. I am selecting the header type as text. For the text header, we have to add the text, right on the message template. Let's add the text for the header. Then comes the message body. We will write the message body here. We can use the user's name on the message. To use a variable on the message body, just click on the variables and select the variable you want to use on the message. We can also use a footer text. But this is optional. We can also use buttons, like call to actions and a quick replies. Here, I will use a quick reply button. Give a name for the button. We will get the option to select a post back for this button, when using this message template. Finally, click on the save button. Yes, the message template has been created. We have to check the status of the template. Yes, the template has been approved. If it's not approved then just change something and try again. This message template can be used for broadcast, live chat, and any integrated message. Now, let's see how to use this message template on the live chat. Go to the live chat and select the user to whom we want to send this message template. Click on the send flow or message template button. Select message template, then select the template from the list. Here we need to select a post back for the quick reply button, that we have used on the message template. Then, put the value for the total price and delivery date. Hit the submit button. Yes, the message has been sent with custom values for the variables. Let's check the message. Yes, the message has been sent with custom values for the variables. So, this is how we can create a message template with variables. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.